This bout is a pro MMA bout scheduled for three five minute rounds in the straw weight division. Out of the red corner, Brittany Kamosi. Of our first pro fight of the evening brings us to the cage. Brittany Kamosi, she's representing the Genesis fight team with a pro record of zero and two. Don't know her amateur record, but she did have an extensive amateur fight background. In the professional division, it is five minute rounds. While you're standing, you are allowed to knee to the head of your opponent. And at any time in the fight, you can use the point of your elbow as an attacking weapon. There we go, our first pro fighter of the night into the cage. Out of the blue corner, Stacy Vega. Stacy Vega represents the Fight Ready Gym. Her pro record also zero and two. So both these fighters looking to notch their first professional win. Somebody's old, gotta go. If the name Kamozi sounds familiar, well, Chris Kamozi, a Colorado fighter, has made a name for himself in the UFC. Also done some glory fighting, I believe, uh, not I believe, uh, has done bare knuckle boxing as well. His brother, Brian Kamozi, is married to Brittany, so that's how that ties in. All right, uh, looking at our tail of the tape here, Brittany Kamosi, 31 5 6 115. Mr. Styles MMA versus Stacy Vega, just a little bit the elder at 34, a little bit shorter at 5 2, also 115. They have matching records. She lists her style as stand up. Yeah, big night for the Kamosi family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening. This bout is in honor of Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Noss. This is a pro MMA bout scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the leatherneck heating and cooling red corner. She's a mixed martial artist, standing five foot six inches tall, weighed in at 115 pounds, with a professional record of zero wins and two losses, with Genesis Training Academy from Denver, Colorado, Brittany Britt Fit Kamosi! Fighting out of the Estrella Helico Blue Corner. She is a stand up fighter, standing five foot two inches tall, weighed in at 116.8 pounds, also with a professional record of zero wins and two losses, with Team Fight Ready from Scottsdale, Arizona, Stacy! Ladies, any questions? No. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Back to your opponent. Here we go. First pro MMA fight of the evening. It is our co-main event of the evening. 115-pound female MMA action. Brittany Kamosi wears the red tape on her gloves. Stacy Vega with the blue tape. Fighter ready. Cage doors locked. Fighter Fighters ready. are ready. Here we go. Wait. Right, 
fast hand shown by Camozzi. Throwing almost everything with combinations, very few single strikes. Vega sitting back trying to get a read on things. Second time Kamozi's gone upstairs with the kick. That time had a little bit of effect. Good job by Vega listening to her corner, but telling her how to manage the distance as well as to have some lateral movement. As soon as they said that, she employed the tactic. Mosey managing the distance well, using her height advantage nicely. Closes into her striking range, throws her techniques, then gets out, not allowing Vega a chance to close the distance. Best head kick of the fight so far by Kamozi. Follows with a flurry of punches. Nice takedown by Kamozi. Ends up in the half guard. Vega, good job immediately putting a hand on hip, trying to keep Kamozi from advancing her position. Wants to try to pull her own right knee back so that she can wrap up full guard. Mosey going to work with some elbows from the top. Good top pressure from Kamozi. And good footwork here on the ground. Good work with her feet. Looping around the leg of Vega trying to control it so that she's Unable to pull that right knee through. Setting up the head and arm choke here. But Vega going for the guillotine. Wraps it up. She doesn't have her hands locked. Nope, and she doesn't have full guard either. Kamozi is past her hips. Past that right knee again, so. Only half guard for Vega. Vega has really solid head control here. Not a choke, not much of a neck crank. Enough to be a little uncomfortable, but really what it's doing is controlling the posture and some of the positioning of Kamozi. Maybe slow it down enough that the referee would bring him back up, but now Kamozi getting her hips into action a little bit. Coming around on the side is Kamozi. Almost has that foot clear. There we go. Now Vega has the full guard she'd been going for. Just less than a minute left to go here. Kamozi takes the back. Both hooks are in for Kamozi. Trying to stretch her out. Good job using her strikes. Can't tell from our angle if she's under the chin or not, but looking to wrap up the rear naked. Vega, solidly committed to working the hand defense here. And Vega's a little bit low. It's gonna make it difficult for Kamozi to finish that choke, or you can say Kamozi's a little bit high, one, one or the other. But either way, only about 10 seconds left. I think Vega's gonna be able to Pretty easily survived that, but definitely looks good in the judges' eyes in the favor of Kamozi. Ending the round with full back control, looking for a submission. Mosey had a lot of output that round, though. She really did, but goes back to her corner looking very relaxed, taking some deep breaths, but not what I would call labored breathing, more just trying to uh, get some decent recovery breaths in there. The big facet of training is 
allowing your body to recover between rounds, you know that you have exactly a minute. So training yourself so that your heart rate drops down, your breathing rate drops down. Definitely some uh, sports specific training goes on for that. Mosey working those punches on the replay, but it was really the head kick that set it up for her. Fight! Vega able to trap the kick. Pushes Kamozi into the cage with it. This is a good position for Vega. Let's see if she can capitalize. Nope, she lost the leg. Good job by Kamozi keeping her balance there. I like the way Kamozi works nice. in that head kick. It's disguised with her shoulder movement and used it to set up the takedown. Good job on the double leg. Pulls her over so she can get the second hook in. Vega going to try to turn her shoulders in, see if she can end up inside the guard of Kamozi here. Kamozi has the figure four now. That's going to shut down a lot of the hip mobility of Vega. Switches it over to the other side. Nicely done. And again, back to the other side. What Vega wants to do is the where the feet are crossed, you want to put that side on the ground. And it puts pressure on the ankles, makes the lock less effective. So Vega was going back and forth trying to do that. And Kamozi, conversely, was switching the lock side to side. A little gamesmanship by both there. Nicely played out. Vega looks up at her corner, and somebody on your back, you don't want to be lifting your chin too high. <clears throat> Kamozi not exactly centered on the back. A little bit off on, on the right side. Now she switches over to some strikes. Has herself centered more. Good job keeping her hands in a defensive position by Vega. Now Kamozi able to get some strikes off. Had just a very small target there, but she kept them legal. Threatening again across the chin, not underneath. Corner of Kamozi calling for her to punch, and she does exactly that. Vega tries to buck her over the top. Not effectively. Minute 40 left. Man, five minute rounds just seem forever. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. I don't think there's been one minute where they haven't been active either. Agreed, they have kept a good pace. Really nice, solid defense against the choke being employed by Vega. Knows exactly how to fight the hands, exactly where to position her head and her chin. Corner of Kamozi now saying they want her to come out on top. As Vega was starting to turn to her own right, Kamozi can unweight her hips and end up in full mount, but Vega went back solidly onto her left hip, so that negates some of that ability of Kamozi. And 
Jamozi continues to work on the neck. Flurry of punches here. Just over 10 seconds to go. Looks like Vega's gonna be able to keep herself safe, come out for a third round, but been all one-way traffic for Kamozi. Especially the latter two-thirds of the round working on the ground, just a combination of back and forth submission attempts, positional dominance, and working the ground and pound. Vega able to keep herself quote unquote safe, but she's gonna have to bring it all this next yeah, round. Yeah, yeah. I'm in agreement with that. I think she needs a, a finish to win the fight. Seeing on the replay here, this is where Kamozi momentarily Tried to switch it over to Mount. Vega turned her hips in, kept it so that it was back control. Able to keep herself safe throughout the entirety of the round there. Round three of three, five more minutes to go. And immediately looking for the takedown is Kamozi. And immediately back into back control. One hook in. Vega trying to kick that hook free. See if Vega can turn her over here and up inside control. Nope, Kamozi does her backpack impression yet again. It's a matter of time till Kamozi starts trying to thread an arm through for the choke. Vega knows what she has to do to keep herself safe. She's shown solid defense. Kamozi not under the chin here. Fighting for hand control is Vega. Looks like Vega might try to turn over and see, uh, have Kamozi in full mount as opposed to on her back, but she elected to go back to face down, knees down on the mat and work her defense of the back control. Kamozi a little higher than she would like to optimally be right now. But she's made that adjustment multiple times before. Back to the figure four. Vega, that was probably her best opportunity there of trying to turn in. End up inside the guard of Kamozi, but Kamozi just really doing a nice job of backpacking herself for this fight. She has an answer for everything. Really does. Don't see her under the chin yet. Probably the closest she's been to affecting that submission, but Vega, you can tell, has really put in her work on how to be defensive in these positions. Halfway through the round. It's not over for Vega yet, though. If she can get out, she's still got a chance. Still two whole minutes. That's for sure. Now going with a little bit of striking. Corner of Vega calling for her to roll. That would make Kamozi have to engage her hands otherwise than striking to your head.
corner. Vega wanted to just stand up, but Kamosi pulled her over backward before she was able to do so. Tough to get a rear naked choke from here. Uh, Kamosi with her back solidly against the cage. It's hard to get the arch and the flattening of your opponent that you want. Now it's closer. And there we go. Finally, Vega able to get, uh, or excuse me, Kamosi able to get the arm threaded through. Works in that rear naked choke with little over a minute left to go. Earns a professional victory. Congratulations to the Genesis fighter, Brittany Kamosi. Wow, tough battle. My gracious. Vega uh, defended so many uh, that many rear naked chokes. Man, it'd be interesting to run the tape and see how many minutes she was able to fend off. Seeing it here on the replay and use the strikes in order to get Vega to turn her back again, which she had done multiple times and finally this time able to thread the left arm through. Got it underneath the chin. She'd been working for it a lot, but finally got the tap out. We'll take it up to Stewie. He'll let us know what time that happened at. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Oscar Martinez called a stop to this about three minutes, 44 seconds into the third round, declaring your winner by submission with a rear naked choke, Brittany Brit Fit Kamosi! Congratulations to the Genesis fighter. Goes home with a professional victory. It's a nice way to get your weekend going.